Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Child Association. Our lesson today is the increase of greenhouse gases. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. Our objectives are to listen to the text and take notes, to read the dialogue correctly, Now let's remember together our previous lesson. What is happening to climate around the world? What do we mean by the word atmosphere? What does a greenhouse effect mean? Now let's read our text. The increase of greenhouse gases. Every year, we are sending more greenhouse gases into the Earth's atmosphere. First, there are big and small factories in all the countries around the world. Millions of vehicles, airplanes, trains, and all kinds of engines are manufactured every year. All these, these things produce a lot of smoke, fumes, and water vapor, which contribute to the increase in greenhouse gases. The greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are trapping more heat on the Earth's surface, making it warmer. Even the electrical appliances we use at home and in the workplace contribute to the greenhouse effect. How? You might ask. All the appliances we use need power to work. The power comes from burning fossil fuels and other natural sources. The more power people use, the more fuels are burned. This means that more carbon dioxide CO2 is released into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a heat trapping greenhouse gas. There is also another reason for global warming. All over the world, people have been cutting down forests for making space for homes or for agriculture. You may remember from your science class that plants breathe in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Now, there are less forests that could absorb and store carbon we emit to the atmosphere. Finally, because of the warming climate, more of another gas called Methane is released from the permafrost. Permafrost is the permanently frozen subsoil layer in the Arctic and subarctic regions. All these three factors contribute to global warming. Now, my dear students, suggest different solutions that could reduce the damage of greenhouse gases. Now let's remember together what are cause and effect. The cause is why something happened, while the effect is what happened. The cause happens first but does not always come first in sentences and texts. When you want to talk or write about causes and effects, you can use the following connectors. Because, because of, since, due to, as a result, and so. For example, because Ahmed did not have money, he could not buy land. Ahmad could not buy land because he did not have money. Here we use because. As a result, he had to move to the city. 
Ahmad did not have land, so he had to move to the city. Here we use as a result and so. Another example, cities cannot provide services due to the fast growing population. Here we use due to because the population is growing so fast cities cannot provide services that's all for today my dear students remember to solve your worksheet and send it to me goodbye thanks for watching if you liked this lesson make sure to subscribe to our channel for more and don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.